guys good morning i love you guys thank you so much for all your support thank you for your likes your comments your subscribes your shares your energy your authenticity even for you uh people in the comments who i know that you're not authentic and i know you're chosen when you're ready to be authentic and stop hiding behind a mask we'll be here waiting for you mm -hmm. it's fun it's fun to be yourself and not have to hide all the time and hide behind lie after lie after lie after mask after mask after mask. Okay. You know what I was thinking when I got up this morning, right? Uh, when you're dealing with narcissists, especially these grandiose mothers, okay? Or even just family members, right? The ones that, uh, let, all right, someone's going to get into it. Let's say hypothetically, uh, your family members smoke pot. And you do too. So now that's okay. You can smoke with them. You can talk about it. You can even go buy it for them when they're out. But you get into something else and now it's a problem. Now like we don't familiarize with that. So now you're wrong and we're right. Only because what you're doing is different than what we're doing, right? It's okay, 111. What we're doing, because you can do it with us. Another problem with narcissistic families. And they've done other things with me too though. Don't let's not get it twisted. I feel like I'm really actually directed towards my son's I'm sorry, why did I say my son's? Holy shit. My boyfriend's oh <laughs> at one point it did seem like I was a mother figure to him, so I know exactly why that came out, okay? And this is why he doesn't really take well to nurturing women because it reminds him of his overbearing mother. Whew, that'll be a topic for another day. Um my boyfriend's mother, she well, she judged me from the rip, right? I told you guys about that. But it really is just because she doesn't want anybody else in his life. It doesn't matter who it is. It was pretty ironic that right after I, I moved in the house, that somebody that he I was friends with since childhood, that he owned the hair salon and she ran it. I mean, she stole from him and ran it into the ground uh, because he's an empath and he had uh, unwarranted trust in people who destroyed his business, right? And I'm sure he played a hand in it too. Anyway, so it just happens to be miraculously, he hasn't talked to this girl in years, and when his mother goes to Texas to, to visit his brother, when she's out of the picture, so there's no blame that can be put on her, right? I'm out of the picture, what do you want from me? I wasn't even in the state. There's a, there's a piece of mail that comes a few days later after she leaves from her, a long letter. I had the baby, I miss you, I hope we can get together, right? I just left because I knew immediately what this was, right? And then I remember being told a story about his other, his ex-girlfriend that lived there. And this was a problem. It was like, this is why he had to leave and the universe had to force like a huge tower moment to get him out of there and get us away from this. Or that would have kept going on, just him having girls there, him never growing up, him never manning up, him never doing his uh, his own dishes and, and this and It's just like that kind of toxic shit, that Peter Pan syndrome, right? But, uh, and then another time he was telling me about how him and his mother went to Texas and, and his and his ex stayed there with his grandfather who was sick. And then miraculously, while the mom was gone again and she couldn't blame him either because she took him with her, all of a sudden now the grandfather's stuff was coming up missing and he blamed it on the girlfriend and she wound up getting kicked out. This shit's toxic as fuck, you guys. So let me get this straight. You trusted this girl to stay there with your sick father? Come on, man. These these mothers are toxic as fuck. They want their, their this is disgusting, toxic. I want you to be my husband because I can't keep one working, damn. It's crazy. And, and then another crazy thing is that she judged me for smoking pot when she used to let him smoke pot in the house. She knew that he smoked pot in the garage with his friends, but once I came around, it was, I can't, you can't do it in here. I don't want it in the house. No, she didn't want me in the house. She knew the second she met me that I was going to change him. And she's right, I did. And that's something that God's plan. You can't go against that shit. If God wants two people together, they will. he will rip these people away from moms, fathers, and children if he wants to, okay? To get what the universe wants done from these two people. Especially if they're, if they're soulmates, twins. Like, I don't really get into a lot of stuff like that. But sometimes when you just know that there's something special about somebody, you just know, okay? You came from the same backgrounds. You went through the same shit. You had the same kind of narcissistic people in your life. You were people pleasers. I mean, there's something there, right? So 
And the crazy thing is that she would sit there and smoke a pack, two packs of cigarettes a day and drink about eight cups of coffee a day. She would do that with them, no problem. That's okay. That's more toxic than weed, ma'am. But you know, it's not about that. It's about look at me and look at you. Well, let's look at it now. See, now that we can actually say, if you wanted to get down with that, let's look at us now. Now nobody's around, right? When we were the ones that were here and they were here, and now it's like, come here. Let me put highlights on you. But now that, that we're up here and everybody else is looking like down here. Anyway, I decided to put on some Chinese flute and Tibetan bells for you guys today because it keeps out the negativity. Let's get down with this. I don't really know where I, uh, this is going to go. I don't really have anything other than that because I just don't. Okay, I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you're doing great. I'm yours. So somebody's like, I'm yours. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, I never realized. And the crazy thing, like I told you, his mom was a Christian. Um, but I can promise you, Christian mothers, that no God in the world wants um, his child, right, more so than yours, to stay in a home with a mother until he's dead, okay? Like, yeah, look, in hermit mode, right? I can promise you that there's no God, not that I know of, okay, that's going to want somebody to just sit there and be a servant to a mother. Yeah, a shape-shifting mother, nevertheless. But this mother was really good at, at putting on a different face for everybody. It was amazing, but I seen right through it. And then the one time when I just started, I started listening to these tarot readings and they started talking about the mothers and doing black magic and stuff, and I started just picking up on things. I went to leave, I packed my bags, and she looked at him and she looked at me and she goes, she's trouble. Right. Kind of look a little ridiculous now, huh? Since he's actually grown up to be a man with me. I think he'll be with trouble all day and night and three times on Sunday, ma'am. He'd rather be with trouble and man up uh, than to be with no trouble, I guess, and to be sitting in a diaper at 40 years old. All right, let's get down with this. What's the message here for today? For the collective today? What's the topic of the message? King. Yeah, he needed to get the king status. Okay? He was tired of being in page and, and uh, knight status. So we decided to... Yeah, rescuer. Look. I was sent. I was sent to do this. Okay? By this one. Okay? And teach him some alchemy. Maybe I was being seen as a rebel. I don't know. Who cares? Whatever. But you know what? I came in there probably to be the mediator. Uh, but somebody else didn't want to uh, adhere to being the student. Okay? <laughs> they were playing the Good Samaritan. And the whole time it was actually me the Good Samaritan one day. And a miser behind closed doors. Using God's name. Alright? Playing hero and shit like that. Right? Oh, I'm the martyr. I'm the martyr. Come on, man. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there, but somebody had to come in and uh, show somebody what they're really made of here. Donna used to work on the dock. Yeah, so what's this, living on the prayer? Is this about the two the two who left? Yeah, family. Look. Ah, I guess that's the topic right now. Is this about, is this living on the prayer? Is this about the, the couple who just like sold their shit and took off? Hmm. Somebody's name could be Tommy. What is it, Gina and Tommy? Gina worked at dinner all day. Yeah, but they loved each other and they went through stressful times and it's like we just got to hold on to what we got, right? It doesn't make a difference if we make it or not. Ooh, 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 ooh. She brings home her family. All right. Oh, somebody's family. Somebody's family feels like this. Somebody had to put an end to some family shit, but I feel like the family feels like this. Uh... Because this motherfucker turned into a king now and he doesn't need them and there's no codependency. And now when, when he left, just like what happened with me, is when he leaves this, this family dynamic that keeps throwing this at him every time he comes to the door, judgment, right? Judgment, another one. Finger pointing, right? Disappointment. Shit. Scapegoat. This is, this is what the scapegoat in the black sheet looks like. And this is what happens after they leave. 
So this is telling me that the family probably feels betrayed or, you know, maybe he does. He kind of feels some kind of way, you know, we talk about it. And I'm not going to share what he says because there's some shit I just know not to share. But this is going to resonate for a lot of masculine energies now. So maybe this one's for you, all right? Yeah. It could be a Scorpio, right? But I feel like there's some kind of, maybe the family's realizing, right? How manipulative this mother was. It is the mother of a Leo. So, I mean, who knows? Manipulative. Uh, playing both sides. Uh, throwing the rock and hide in her hand. Creating problems and then, and then removing herself from them so that it can't come back to her. And then all of a sudden, like this broad, me, okay? And for a lot of you divine feminines or even masculines, if you're dealing with a dude, came along and, and you blew this, look, you blew this shit wide open now. Now I feel like the family is realizing how, how manipulative this mother was. I really do. Living on a prayer too. And it's like, you can sit there and pray all day right but what are you praying to who are you praying to if you're manipulative and you use a you use underhanded tactics to triangulate your kids and make yourself look like that's not god sweetheart i can promise you i've experienced it that's not god 11 11 yes yes yeah we're halfway there so for some of you uh if you haven't or maybe you're thinking of like if you're separated from the person you want to be with and it has to do with a toxic family or mother or maybe some of you have experienced this already where you're like damn it really did seem like there had to be something like this happen uh because it's it's very easy for a man especially these days because it's difficult to live right if you need to keep up with the joneses if you can live within your means and not feel the need to like put money in uh other people's pockets to buy their products to put yourself in debt buying stuff uh, just to let it sit there eventually if you find meaning of life in, in labels and products then yeah you're gonna have a difficult time living if you cannot give a fuck what people think like we do and humble yourself and realize damn like I'd rather be, spend my life with somebody who doesn't cheat on me doesn't lie to me or have my back fuck all this other shit well then congratulations you know you're escaping the matrix but this shit is crazy. It was all shiny. Now it's all dusted. So maybe this is the mother saying like, damn man, it was all shiny. And me and my son had this great relationship. Did you really? Did you really? Because that's what they'll tell people too. Everything was fine till one, two, three, four. Till she came along. Or he came along. Bullshit. Believe me when I tell you everything was not fine. I actually have honest conversations with him. Cat fight. These these masculines, uh, they appease these mothers. I don't know if I ever told you guys. I may have that. Oh, I was talking to her the one time, and she we it was like Halloween, and she was like we were talking about when we were kids, and she goes, "Yeah, I used to dress Brian up like a little girl. He couldn't stand it." And you could see on his face that it, it, why would you do that? Why would a mother dress? Why would you dress your fucking son up as a little girl? To humiliate him? That's demonic. Fuck out of here. Yeah, he's a man, woman. <laughs> what are you dressing him up like a girl for? It's almost like there was a hatred there. And it has something to do with the father. Yo, it has something to do with the father. Whether the father was cold or there was no love there or whatever, but damn. Yeah, the father. It's there again, the father. It's a karmic mother. That's a mother that someone just needed to learn lessons from, okay? And this mother works together with the other siblings, you know, or uh, other family members, and it's like, while they're in the other room, they'll ask questions, embarrassing questions, like, oh, tell your uncle so-and-so how you got locked up last week, you know what I mean? And it's like, but you tell, you tell outside people, the only people that the mom will share that kind of information with is another family member who went through the same thing but when it's outside influence like the neighbors and shit who seemingly have a perfect family like everybody does right doesn't everybody just have the perfect family on the outside it's pathetic it's pathetic but when it comes to that shit outside right it's like now it's like uh 
yeah, you know, we're all doing good and this, that, or the other. Meanwhile, you go back in and it's like the house is a mess. It's falling apart. There's cobwebs all over the place. Uh, for someone who says something about God, there's there's nothing that represents God in the whole house. There's nothing that represents God in the face of this woman. Uh, well, if it's a man, a man. One, once a week, huh? I give myself every single day. It don't just stop there. I don't just go into uh, an establishment and say some shit and then leave and then go back to finger pointing and judging and haughty eyes and staring. You ever get those haughty eyes from an older woman? With the lip thing, like it's almost like it doesn't matter what you say, she's already judging you. You can tell it in her eyes. You can you can read her mind. So so where did you go to school? Where do you work? And then while you're explaining it, it's like you can pretty much look at her and you can read her mind. She's I don't really care because I'm already judging you. <laughs> we already know, Mama. We already know. What's this King of Swords? What's this King of Swords? Somebody trying to make things right? I don't know what this King of Swords is. If there, there's still a dad around, maybe that's what this is. I feel like maybe this is this could be God, or this could be an ancestor here, like a passed away grandfather uh, who had to call some judgment on somebody here. Hmm. What's this? I feel like somebody was also judged because they were beautiful here. This this could have been like. Um, a brother or something that's realizing that their mother is this if this dude had a brother like if you're divine masculine for those of you who resonate with this if they if they had a brother I feel like this brother is realizing that this mother is being judged or experiencing karma for for being jealous of this female this divine feminine here and being hateful I just saw the five of swords there's some kind of there's a king of swords energy here this could literally just be God with the King of Swords, like with the Ace of Wands, like, yes, you know, like, fire, right? <laughs> I feel like some, um, this person never brought somebody home like a Divine Feminine before ever. And this whole family, I feel like, didn't know what to do with it. Look, th this, this whole family didn't know whether to shit wind their clock. They didn't know. I need a girl like you. Yeah, this dude needed a girl like you, Divine Feminine. Yeah, because you're satisfied. You're satisfied. You Somebody was judged unfairly here uh, by a complete family. Like I feel like the entire family also sides with this mother because that's what happens because the, these mothers who are supposed to be matriarchs, okay? Do you guys get it? Our ancestors, the women, they kept families together. They handled some shit. What happened? What happened to men and what happened to women? Hmm. I'll wait. Baby, I know you're the one. All right. There could be somebody here. Oh, look. You could be a Taurus or this divine feminine could be a Taurus. I also feel like this is God, though, saying, like, I need to call judgment on you because uh, my people aren't jealous of someone else's beauty because if you really knew me you'd realize that everybody else has everybody has their own beauty some people's it's more on the inside some people's it's both some people's it's more on the outside whatever it is this is how i made people accept it or, or stop using my name here this could definitely be an earth sign with the nine of pentacles and the uh and the hierophant here yeah. I don't know. There's some kind of fighting going. Maybe, maybe this was God. Maybe this is the chaos and stuff. Maybe this is the uh, the arguing. Somebody was arguing with the Taurus here or God stirring shit up because he was like, look, I'm tired of the arguing. I'm tired of the judgment. I'm tired of the finger pointing and the back and forth and shit. I'm just going to cause a power moment here. We're going to split this shit up. Celebrate good times. Come on. Yeah. I feel like some of you guys are going to be celebrating or you are celebrating or it's like you're just happy. Yeah, because it's a wrap. Somebody closed out a, a cycle here. This could be a Taurus. Closed out a cycle here from just arguing. Or maybe maybe this Taurus here or you, uh, God put this shit in you to say, look, I'm not taking it no more. I'm going to speak my truth. Maybe you're coming in and causing this destruction, right? Maybe that's what this is or somebody's blaming you for it. But you know, ever since they got here, 
you know, they'll only point the finger at the bad shit, right? Okay, ever since they got here, you know, I haven't even seen my son or talked to my son. Ain't nobody uh, chaining this motherfucker to a pole and taking his phone away. That's his decision. I told him before, why don't you just go uh, call your mom up? Why don't you text your mom? Why don't you go see her on Christmas? He didn't even do that, right? It's very clear that how he really felt about this dynamic with his mother. Because I tried, even when I was there, I, would, I, I got them a gift card for the Nutcracker for 300 bucks to go because I knew she liked it. She was still rude to me, you know? Uh, I, off, I offered her bill money. She didn't want to take it. That's another thing narcissists will do. They will deny anything because they don't need anything, right? It's that, it's that grandiose shit. I'm okay. I don't need your help. Here are you. I'm helping you out, right? And then what happens is later on, they're going to need help because they're, everybody's learning lessons about that shit. Everybody needs help, motherfucker. You know better than somebody else. And, and the, But they'll tell everybody else that we're not contributing or we don't do anything, right? I clean the house every single day because I'm obsessive like that. And I'm realizing every time I was ever in a narcissist house because my parents taught me how to be clean, okay? I would clean their home and I feel like they took it as much as they liked it because they didn't have to do it. It's like they took offense to it. Make up your mind. Because if you're offended by it, then bitch, I'll stop doing it, right? It's crazy. They're, this is why they're impossible to please and you just have to not care. But yeah, I told him, call your mother. Why don't you go out to uh, lunch with your mother? Why don't you get your mom like a gift card to get her hair done? Yeah, I will. It's his decision. So so um, they can't use this anymore that, oh, ever since this one came along, I don't talk. No, he doesn't want to talk to you apparently. I damn near have to pull teeth to get him to even call you. So maybe you need to sit down for once and actually take responsibility and take accountability and wonder why is that? Because it's really easy to say that it's the girlfriend's fault or the boyfriend's fault, right? Because it would sound really bad if you said like, my son just doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Maybe he didn't want to talk to me while while he was here. No, he didn't. He, every time she called his name, he would, what? She brought out this the, the rage in him. I don't, somebody lied again. Oh no, what else is new, right? Father, why does this keep coming out that this father, whose father's lying now? I'm so tired of just, of, of uh, hearing about this lying father shit, you know? Are you guys too? Who's this father? A father feels disappointed. Maybe, maybe they feel disappointed um, or they're playing victim. Maybe there were, you guys had an argument the last time you saw each other, and uh, maybe that's the, you know how sometimes that's the only thing that somebody will remember? Not all of the shit that they did before that, but they'll remember that one argument if they feel like it was your fault, and that's the one that they'll talk about. Tell me more, please. Yeah, you could have an Aquarius for a father that you had an argument with uh, that plays victim. Clarify lied. <sighs> you walked away from this father, apparently. Maybe this father said that he walked away from you, or I don't know why that fell under lie, but uh, what just lit up? Wow. Somebody stole? I stole from my father. Yeah. I stole, I stole money off of them, uh, but I put it back when I worked. I put it back every week when I worked. So I also uh, hocked one of my mom's rings when I was on drugs. I can admit this shit. You know, I can admit that I made mistakes, right? Two errors human, like I said, but I'm talking about people who don't ever make them. It must be amazing. Yeah, King of Swords, it could definitely be an air sign. Yeah, emperor's at the bottom. So for some of you, if you have an Aquarius father here that you just had something you butt heads with, uh, you walked away from them and you cut them off. Um, this father may have lied on you. Yeah, justice. So there's a father getting justice right now. This could be a Libra too. There could be a Libra and an Aquarius here that you cut off for whatever reason. What's this justice here for? I feel like somebody uh, coming, comes off as, perfe as perfection. So there's your family. I feel like maybe, uh, let's find out what this is first. 
Maybe you, know, you had to forgive your family, you know, or your forget or your family wants to offer you something. What is this page of cups here? Oh, well, you had a complete transformation and you forgave is what it looks like. So it looks like what's happening here is that you had uh, some kind of conflict with a father here, possibly an air sign. And I feel like you had to cut them off and walk away. And I, and, I, and I feel like this father may have put everything like in their favor. Like, well, no, that didn't happen. Or look what's on the bottom, manipulation, all right? If this is the father of your kids, then you know, you know how this fits. But I feel like this father lied about, uh, if you said, no, well, this happened before, but I just never talked about it because it's my dad and stuff. I feel like your dad may have said, no, I never did that or I never said that. Or if you said, like, you know, my dad used to talk about my mom all the time. I feel like there's something that, uh, there was a lie that was told. Ditto. I just heard ditto, so I don't know if that goes both ways or whatever, but, um, I don't know. There also is a father here I'm picking up on that, that lied about taxes. I don't know if that has something to do with you guys. If this has something to do with insurance too man i don't know you know it's crazy because a lot of us are like no so and so would never have done that right you'd be real surprised uh what money does to people you guys you'd be really surprised okay <laughs> can i get a demon card please for whatever this topic is we're dealing with here can i get a demon card please thank you Scales are being balanced, though. That's for sure. Okay, let's see. Focus on budgeting and frugality. So maybe this the, the scales being balanced here is the fact that maybe if this father chose material things or money over showing loving, caring, nurturing energy to you, then maybe this father is going through difficult times financially here. Karma hits, I said, wherever wherever uh, your love before compassion went to. If, if it was money, your money gets money. Uh, if, if you chose, it's like myself, like I had to sacrifice my child for a hot minute until I got myself better, right? It's like fucking Abraham and shit, you know? That's why I use that book as a metaphor. Please tell me one more. Truth. Yeah. So I just spoke the truth. 20 could be relevant. So the truth is that if this father uh, didn't really show you love and kindness when you were going through a difficult time and they were more concerned about money, for some of you, your father stole from you or lied about some tax stuff or insurance stuff to help them out. Um, maybe the truth is out about this now. Let me get one of these. Yeah, I keep hearing about insurance companies, you guys, right now. It's nonstop insurance company commercials. Why is this happening? There's something that's going on here. A grandfather. So maybe this has to do with some money your grandfather left you. Some truth. Maybe this is your grandfather. If you passed away, empath, and you know maybe your grandfather was an empath. I want to pull on this. Let's find out about this grandfather. I just saw the Ten of Pentacles. Yo, there's some truth that came out about I felt like some of you were left money by a grandfather here tell me about this Ooh, look look at this grandfather inheritance it's not your fault I just heard it's not your fault maybe this is a grandfather telling you it's not your fault whatever this is this grandfather I, I just this is crazy yeah it's not your fault Somebody's love of money here got them caught up. You could have a, uh, there could have something to do with, with a Capricorn here with a bunch of money. It's not your fault, I just heard. Yeah, or Scorpio. There could be a Capricorn and a Scorpio that's responsible for taking part of this money that didn't belong to them, but it was supposed to be yours, MF. Wow. Yeah, in the past, 
something happened in the past where you were supposed to get some kind of money from a grandfather, and there could have been a Capricorn and a Scorpio. They may want to, like, uh, reconcile with you now. Truth. Yep. You guys, it's just so toxic. Like, who the fuck are you guys to say whether somebody gets their money or not? But you're sitting there spending money and buying ridiculous shit, and a lot of these people are buying drugs and, and alcohol and shit. And then the person who was supposed to have it now is struggling, and they're not supposed to be. You know the kind of karma you get for this? I was just kidding myself. Yeah, you're just kidding yourself. Yeah. This grandfather feels betrayed. I feel like this is a grandfather spirit coming through here. Either they feel betrayed by a Taurus or they know that there was a Taurus uh, that was betrayed here. Maybe by a Pisces here. So maybe this is your father seeing if you went through something with somebody else, your grandfather. That could have been that King of Swords energy is a grandfather or it could be the grandfather of your person. Because we were talking about that family. There's a grandfather and that has to, something to say with a large sum of money here. Damn, that just flew out of my hand. Uh, so this is what you do, right? Because I know a lot of you are uncomfortable with even approaching your family. You can hire somebody to find this out and have them look up and find your name. Some of these people actually forged uh, uh, changed documents and shit because they felt like they were judge, jury, and executioner. <laughs> um, execute what, you guys? These nuts. Um, you can also just call out the judgment. You have to call it out. You have spiritual authority. I called judgment 70-fold on anyone in my family and anyone who had anything to do with taking money that was left to me and belonged to me. So be it. Period. 3131. Say this shit out loud and then the universe will conspire and will bring this shit out. But sitting back and not doing anything, it's like you're giving consent. When you, when you don't say no, that's universal law. You're saying yes. What else do you want to get into? I want to do a little bit of yoga today, so I'm going to take a, a break. And I still have to do Aquarius's read. The irony is that's my dad's sign, you guys. And that's his mother's sign, too. How fucking weird is that? They're both Aquariuses, and that's the one I'm just realizing that I didn't do. Yeah, I'm so tapped in. I'm so tapped in. Tap it in. Just tap, yo. Tap it in. <laughs> You're too good for your home. <laughs> uh, let's, I just... Uh, this could go either way. This could be ones who play God and one who really is God, okay? So let, let's just get down. Those of us who really know God, we know that we are actually God incarnate in human form, in spirit, okay? Uh, others who look in outside of themselves for this... Um, I don't know. I guess their lives are a little different here. We're at more peace. Clarify God. That sounds weird saying that to me, but we'll do it. Clarify God, please. Clarify God, please. Clar Thank you. Somebody played God in the past? Or you're God's child with the Six of Cups? Maybe both of you. Maybe you and your person because there's a boy and a girl here. Look at this, Empress. Look at you. Now, either this is a mother in the past who played God, all right, De despotism and cruelty, using power to control people, okay, or this is just you, Empress. You realize that you're, you are God. You're God's favorite. This is God coming through, going, yeah, hon, I, I got you. I got you. I've seen everything that happened in the past. Look, I've seen that you were brokenhearted. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Maybe this is God going, tell me what you want. And you're like, I want justice. Don't judge my past. If you want to be my lover. <laughs> so maybe you guys are starting over before. And now maybe you're becoming friends first, right? Look at this. There's Look, that's, that's Leo, right? So here's me and my dude right here. Look at this. There's Leo and Taurus, right? Me and him. So this, for a lot of you, this is going to resonate, okay? And people are probably talking mad shit to people who are miserable and they have tough relationships and they don't, they don't trust the person they're with and they have to take your phone and look at it and 
and we don't have to do that. So you reconcile with a Leo, some of you, and the, the, the mother to this Leo is pissed off. All right, I'm reading this multiple ways. I'm also seeing here that there was a mother in the past who tried to play God or use God and 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 I feel like she she had just a negative uh, mindset belief system she talked bad about people she had negative thoughts and she spoke negative shit but she wanted to play God okay we don't do that here I feel like somebody also judges somebody because they say that they're of God but they curse bitch shut up <laughs> You know what I mean? Stop. Oh, somebody always got to find something. It's the ones who play perfect, you guys. You got to be wary of. It's the ones who wear their shirts buttoned all the way up with their crosses. And they speak perfectly. They're the dangerous ones, I've realized. People like me, right, that curse and we say our flaws, we're the real ones, right? We're, we're, we're the, the positive attribute of this, which would be benevolence and compassion, recognizing the internal force within yourself and others. Yeah, that, that would be us. We don't use it to control people. And we're not cruel. But, but bitch, don't, don't come for somebody if we didn't send an invitation out. Yeah, I feel like this, this mom is broken hearted because this son walked away. This empress rep represents that this, this Leo is a strength card, so... You reconciled with a Leo. Maybe you guys split up and you got back. And now this mother feels broken hearted because this, this son walked away. But I feel like this mom was also with the three of swords talking shit saying that you were the reason. Yeah, maybe I was the reason, right? I was the reason. But you can't, in a, in a way that you can't even explain or understand though. What goes around? What goes around comes back around. It's on right now. Oh, wow. So she tried to put her claws in, in this masculine so that he wouldn't leave and she used manipulation and woe was me and oh I guess I'll just be by myself then what goes around comes back around because it's now like he doesn't want nothing to do with you yeah he, he transformed this masculine energy walked away and had a complete transformation and put a death to this shit now listen if this mom is passing away or this mom passed away of course like obviously like nobody wants that but you can't be cruel to others and blame everybody else but your own self you know, it's like these moms give these sons like a false sense of like, you never do anything wrong. And then they can't take accountability for anything in their life. And then now, well, they, they do this tech, like um, they do this deliberately though, so that when women come into their life, they can't deal with them because the mom doesn't want the son to move on. It's toxic. It's very, uh, it's actually like incestuous. And so when a woman comes around that the mom knows is going to, uh oh, this one's dangerous. This one's a threat. They, they print these and prep these guys to not even know how to act around a woman. So that the woman goes, I can't do this. You're too childish. You don't take responsibility. You don't even pay your own fucking phone bill. And then we'll roll. And that's like what happened. But then, you know, this one can can do some crazy shit, you guys. <laughs> this one can do some crazy shit, you guys. If I got Scorpio, Leo, uh, Taurus, and Libra here. Or the major. There's definitely uh, an empress, too, that... Uh, had their heart broken because they had to walk away from a Scorpio here. If you, I mean, I just like to see every say everything that I'm seeing. Tell me more. I remember everything that you say. Yeah, I feel like you guys split up, and this mom at one point was like, "Oh, good, it worked." And God was like, "I don't think so. Not so fast." Yeah, look, because I feel like the son, uh, this divine masculine, could feel the hatred. Somebody had to walk away because I feel like somebody was competing. There was a mother. So, do you know he said to me the one day? Yo, I never saw my mom jealous like that before. She was 70, you guys. I was 40. What was I, 40? 42, 43? And she goes, I never saw my mom that jealous. Yeah, look, Leo. Mm hmm Yeah. Jealous of your light. Jealous that you're exposing her. Pissed off. Needing to win at all costs. Okay, well, I mean, you do whatever you feel like you need to do, okay? It's crazy, man. I told you, like, jealousy and envy, there's no age limit on this. I've, I've had, and I'm not like someone else who thinks the whole world is jealous of me, but I'm going to tell you what I experienced real rap in real time. I've had women from 70 uh, to 20 and everything in between. My own family members, people who claim to be my friends, the same thing that they loved about me and drew them in 
to me was the same thing that when they realized they couldn't be like, or maybe they can. Like I said, like I never said this. This is all a problem within themselves. But and to get someone to admit this shit is like moving mountains. <laughs> What goes around comes around though, you guys. If you guys are experiencing them, you can resonate with this. And you had a toxic mother who was actually your divine masculine's karmic. And it wasn't so much any exes because maybe they didn't have a lot. Or maybe they just didn't have part on bad terms because they weren't that kind of guy. But it was the mother that you guys had the most beef and conflict with. Just know that there's something happening there with I feel like the rest of the family is noticing. Damn, this one was right. It was kind of toxic. And it takes for you guys not to be around for this to happen. So I'll be back with the Aquarius reading, you guys. I love you. See you in a little bit. Bye.